How you doing guys and welcome to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel. My name is Jocko Daniel George. I scale brands up with paid traffic and I teach agencies on how to do the same. And in these last two videos, I've been going over how you can generate seven figures from your agency, you know, how to structure your offer, how to find that perfect niche and so on and so forth. And in this video, I want to address how you can actually sign high ticket clients. And the first thing we need to focus on when we want to try and sign high ticket clients is that we find a market with high profit margins because there are a lot of industries and niches out there that will generate a lot of money. But then when you look at the bottom line, there's not a lot of profit margin to go off. So when you are trying to sign high ticket clients, and what I mean by high ticket clients, I mean that you know your retainer is high as well. So a client that is doing extremely well and that you know you can sign for a larger fee. So you're doing roughly the same amount of work as you would with a lot of ticket clients, but you're making that client more money and you're getting more money off the back of it. Some examples are uh, the jewelry niche. You know, we have one client in the jewelry niche now that has an extremely high profit margin. Uh, beauty products, again, usually the profit margin between 70 and 80 percent. Sunglasses, watches, uh, the fashion to a certain extent as well. Bamboo products is one that we've seen quite a lot lately. Um, we actually did an order for a store not so long ago. Um, I'll get the screenshots up if I can find them. Uh, they were selling bamboo toothbrushes and they had this starter pack which was $69 if I remember correctly and I've got this plugin on my uh, laptop where I can basically like reverse image search directly to Alibaba or AliExpress and they were buying these toothbrushes in for 62 cents each so selling it for 69 obviously the packaging looked very nice it looked high ticket but they were buying the actual so the main item of that product packet for 62 cents of AliExpress so that profit margin is obviously extremely high, which means that, you know, there's a lot of money to be made for that clients. And then if you get a percentage of the pay's conversion value with a specific ROAS guarantee, there's a lot of money for you to be made as well. Okay, so bamboo products is another one. Uh, kids toys, baby products, candles is another one. You know, I've seen a lot of money being made in candles, uh, home office sort of you know, supplies, um, which you be popping off quite a lot on TikTok as well, you know, like that the Amazon home finds or TikTok maybe buy it type products um, in the like, you know, sort of home office space. And um, it's getting sold a lot, quite a lot as well. Uh, and of course, information products. You know, I see a lot of people that will have an info product with a 100% profit margin, which means the ROAS technically only needs to be one to be profitable. There's a lot of money to be made there as well. Now, I'm sure that you are now thinking you've just named probably every niche under the sun. And that is true because every specific niche has clients that are doing extremely well and has clients that aren't doing very well. And it's up to you to find those clients that are doing well. As the saying goes, help winners win more. Okay, so find high earning markets with extremely high profit margins. The second thing that I would strongly invite you guys to do is solve a bigger problem or deliver on a bigger promise. So in these last few videos, I already mentioned that we don't just offer Facebook ads. You know, we sometimes offer TikTok ads as well. We almost always offer conversion rate optimization. We almost always offer email marketing. We almost always offer consultant to a certain extent. And um, because we're not just offering what every other agency out there is offering that is just starting out, you know, we've already differentiated ourselves from the rest because if they need to decide whether or not they're going to go with a relatively unproven agency that just offering Facebook ads or an agency that makes sure that they give a specific customer avatar uh, research form, uh, there's a conversion rate optimization process in place. They're offering Facebook ads, uh, TikTok ads, email and remarks, and etc. They're going to go with that other agency because businesses that are doing well they just want it to be stores that's, you know, all under the one roof. They just want a uh, peace of mind bakery rather than trying to manage all these little different agencies that are offering something specific. And I'm not saying that with this agency that offers every single service out there, it's still very, very specific. You know, we're just still focused on Shopify stores with a certain profit margin, a certain, you know, monthly income of, you know, revenue or profit etc. I'm only offering specific things that we're very, very good at. Facebook ads, Tesla ads, conversion rates, and email marketing. 
So influencer marketing, social media management, website design, uh, SEO, we, all all that stuff is not something that we offer. So we are still very much experts at what we you know provide as a service, but it's more than just Facebook ads, if that makes sense. So we are solving a bigger problem and we are delivering on a bigger promise. So we've got our high ticket, sort of high profit margin niche or market, and we're solving a bigger problem. Then thirdly, what I would recommend you do if you want to sign higher ticket clients is really build out a brand out of your agency. So in a lot of my videos, I say that you need to focus on income producing activities and do not focus on your logo, your website, your blog posts for your website and stuff like that. But in this case, when you're already up and running, you already have an existing agency, everything is going well, and you just want to sign higher ticket clients, you sort of want to transcend your agency to the next level. That is when things like this start playing a part. So now it will be beneficial for you to build up a proper website with testimonials, portfolio material, media kits, an about us page, a nice looking logo, um, a description of you know, who you work with, you know, specific brand that you have worked with in the past and so on and so forth. Now, if you want to see what a minimum viable source of website for a exist agency that is attracting higher ticket clients looks like, feel free to check out brandpreneur.com. That is my own agency website. The subsidiary for that grow my meal grab where you focus specifically on meal delivery services that I do with things came up on Shopify, uh, growmymeal.com. You know, check that out. Same thing again. Uh, Aaron, Guys, are my business planner on Consult X uh, has a website, you know, biggersexual.com. Same thing again. And what he does extremely well uh, also is that he has his own formula, which he calls Kinetic Scaling, which is the same sort of scaling formula that we implement, you know, for our Consult X members. But because he is the founder of Kinetic Scaling, which is his way of scaling up brands, um, he is known for that. So now when a client is deciding whether to go for the generic fashion uh, agency that offers Facebook ads and Google ads, or they want to go for this agency, which in this case is Digaceptral, where they offer the kinetic scaling formula that has been proven to help XYZ other brands, they're going to go for the latter. Okay, so by sort of developing your own unique seller points, you're able to you know, differentiate yourself from all the rest. Okay, so find a market with high profit margins, solve a bigger problem and build the brand out of your agency or your business. And then the last piece of advice that I'd like to give you guys is to actually build out a team. Okay, there's only so much you can do on your own. And like I said, you know, we do offer multiple services. We offer email marketing, we offer TikTok ads, we offer Facebook ads, but I am only focused on the Facebook ad side of things. So we already have someone in place for the TikTok ads. I'm not outsourcing it for cheap and cheerful. You know, we have an expert in place that can help us get better results with TikTok ads. If one of our clients wants uh, Google ads as a service, we have someone for that as well. Same goes for email marketing. For conversion rate optimization, I'm not gonna sit there and custom code sticky out to car buttons for the shop my store. We have someone in place that is way better at all that than you know that I am. So we can basically build out this dream team you know, for the agency so that when we do charge high ticket for our clients, we can still deliver on that bigger promise because we have the people in place that can, you know, help us solve all of that. Um, okay, and you could easily get up to 10K a month on your own, but the difference between a six-figure agency and a seven-figure agency, in my opinion, is having those eight players. So rather than focus on what you need to learn to get up to seven figures, focus on who you know and who you can implement inside of your agency to go seven figures. And you'll notice that you'll get there way quicker as well. Okay, and then it's extremely important that you guys now realize that I'm not saying outsource for cheap and cheerful. There's a difference between outsourcing every service that you offer under the sun and having a basic understanding of the services that you offer and then finding A players that can help you augment the service that you offer to your clients for a high ticket retainer. So just to sum all of that whole affluence niche with high profit margins, solving a bigger problem or delivering on a bigger promise, building a brand out of your business and building out a actual A player dream team with your agency. So that is all I've got for today in terms of advice and the you know, tips and tricks that I can give you guys. 
But there is one very, very important thing that I think should be mentioned here. And that is the easiest way to sign high ticket clients or the easiest two ways, I should say. Uh, first one being building out those high ticket clients yourself. As I mentioned in previous videos, as we teach in Consult X, you know, we don't start off by charging high ticket retainers. We wait off a performance basis. So a client that starts out maybe just becoming a 1,000 or 2,000 month client because you're only making X amount from that client can be a seven figure client by the end of the year because you've scaled that client up and you get a percentage of the back end. So that is one way of generating high ticket clients. The second way is by getting referred high ticket clients from your existing clientele. So if you have a client that is doing extremely well, chances are they know other businesses or other people inside their network that are doing extremely well also. You can then basically ask them if they could refer you on in exchange for a referral basis, a discount on their current service or anything like that, and then see if you can actually start attracting you know, their uh, network inside of your own agency. Because just like how we always say that you are the average of the five people you surround yourself with, the clients that you attract will be doing the same. So they have five or six people inside of their network that they are the average of. So if they are high ticket clients, chances are they are surrounded by high ticket people as well. So if you can then attract them, you basically duplicated the amount of clients uh, that are sort of in the high ticket bracket. Okay, so that is all I've got for today. If you want to know more about signing up high ticket clients, setting up those back end deals, then feel free to check out Consult X. I'll leave a link in the description box down below. We can check out a free video and you'll also see our guarantee. And the guarantee is that we 3X the return on your investments with Consult X within the first 90 days of joining the program, all you get all your money back. So that is it for today's video. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.